Now let's take a look at converting between bases of powers of 2. So what I mean by that is how do we convert between a, a number system that has a power of 2, and what I mean by that is something, or 2 to the n power. So these are bases such as they might have two numbers in them, four numbers in them, eight numbers in them, or 16 numbers in them. So of special interest to us is converting between binary to hexadecimal. So these are powers of two because they have, you know, a number of symbols that is a power of two. Okay, so the way that you do this is as follows. So what you want to do is you are going to, let's start by going from binary to hex. So what we do in this situation is we just recognize that the rule is that hexadecimal symbols take four bits worth of binary. So it's actually pretty simple because it's just a grouping exercise. So if I came along and I had 111011 and I had dot 11111, I could come along and I could start creating groupings that start at the radix point and work left and work right. So what I mean by that is if I looked at the whole number portion, what I would do is I would grab four bits at a time and then I would convert that directly into a hex symbol. So for example, 1011 is going to be the hex symbol B. And then I come over here and I do another group. Notice that there's only two bits, but I can always fill with leading zeros and I don't impact the number's value. So I can easily just say that number is 0011 and I convert that directly into 3. And then what I do here is I start grouping starting at the radix point and I'm going to go from this way and then I'm going to group another here. Notice I can fill with trailing zeros so I can go ahead and fill those in. It doesn't change anything. This then converts directly into the hex symbol F. This converts directly into the hex symbol 8 and then I just bring the radix point down and that is the answer. So it was pretty easy. I just did binary to hex by grouping in four bits at a time and then doing a direct conversion to the hex symbol. So 3BF8 base 16 is the answer to that. Now if I wanted to go the other way where I said okay I want to go from hex to binary it's just as easy because what I do is I take the hex symbols and I replace them with four bits of binary and then just tabulate the number. So let's take a look at what if I started with a number such as 1B dot A base 16 and I wanted to convert that into binary. All I do is I say B is going to be represented as four as four bits and 1 is 4 bits and A is 4 bits. So B, if I go look this up in my table, B is going to be 1, 0, 1, 1, and then 1 is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, and then A is going to be 1, 0, 1, 0. I bring the decimal point down. At this point, I can get rid of my leading zeros and my trailing zeros and come up with the final number of 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and dot 1, 0, 1, and that is then base 2. So that is how I converted from hex to binary. Okay? All right, and that is it.